Hey there, I'm Danny DeVito, and I'm here to let you in on some great opportunities coming up for filmmakers in my home state in New Jersey. I grew up down the shore. I know Jersey like the back of my hand. I named my company Jersey Films. Come on. Long before Hollywood was Hollywood, the movie business was booming in the state of New Jersey. In fact, this is where it all started. You know that, right? The first film projector, the first studio, even the first drive-in theater opened in New Jersey. When Hollywood was a dusty little outpost somewhere in the wild west, Fort Lee was the first and foremost film capital of the world. Uh, the movie business is thriving in New Jersey once again, thanks to an incredible range of positive factors, including locations, production infrastructure, and film-friendly logistics. You get everything done here. Thanks to Governor Phil Murphy and his expansion of the successful tax credit initiatives, New Jersey is opening its doors once again to the imagination industry that started everything right here. Innovation is in our DNA here in the Garden State, and we're ready to welcome the next wave of content creators, innovators, streamers, dreamers, gangsters, animators, jokers, saints, sharks, and jets to discover what we always knew. Jersey's got it all. When I get a call to explore where are we going to shoot this or where should we schedule a budget and look into it, that I call the film commissions. And the New Jersey Film Commission is without compare. I mean, they have uh, knowledge of the state that's incredible down to the towns and who the mayors are and who will let you shoot till this and don't worry about that town and that town has these rules and don't go they just know it but in addition to that they understand production We're, we are very excited to be nominated as one of the top film commissions in the world we are especially excited because we were the only film commission in the United States nominated. And so that is a, a quite an achievement for the New Jersey Film Commission and for New Jersey in general. You need to know a little bit about everything. You need to know how the transportation system works, how school systems work. Just all the things that are required, all the types of locations that are required for a motion picture or a TV show. So you need to know how these things operate and you need to know who to contact in order to get things done. What's great about Steve and David is that they will say to you is what you're really looking for is in Clifton or it's in Perth Amboy or something that is maybe a little less obvious and you will have had something in the back of your head that told you to not go there from maybe 20 years ago and they'll say no and they'll say I promise you it'll go great and when they tell you to do that you do it. They can answer very specific questions. And that's what makes a difference when you're trying to figure out where you're gonna shoot this and you can get some real answers. Like, I need to know, can, do you think we can accomplish this in New Jersey? You can scout New Jersey without having to leave uh, your computer at this point in time. And anything you don't see there, we will help you find it. Jersey has a bad racket in terms of the area in and around Newark Airport and the credit sequence of Sopranos and the Jersey Shore, uh, the, the show. Um, and in fact, what I love about Jersey as a place to shoot is that you have cities, you have urban centers, you have the beaches, which everybody knows, but then you have farms, you know, you have Asbury Park, which looks is one of the most cinematic places I've ever been to. Clinton is an old community, dates back to the 1700s and um, there's a lot of history. So if you want a small farming community, you know, we could be a small Midwestern town because where we are and what we look like, we look like middle America, we look like Mayberry. Thanks to the governor who I think has set the stage for how welcoming New Jersey is to the film industry, every mayor that I have talked to is extremely excited um, they're welcoming the film industry with open arms. We're known for our beautiful bones. In fact, at City Hall, we had Al Pacino, and he was filming The Hunters. And we turned the front of City Hall into Warsaw, Poland. The back was Zagreb, Croatia, and the side was London, England. So you were in three European cities in one setting. 
you can literally go from one end of the state to the next in a couple of hours and get whatever you need. Rolling hills to urban areas, suburban, bridges, mountains, farms, you name it. We have it here in New Jersey. You do have everything. You have oceanfront, you have industrial, you have residential, you have high end, um, you have blue collar, you have um, neighborhoods that are diverse in their ethnic origin and impact. So when you're looking for flavor, it exists. How do I not know that this Princeton exists? This is like a storybook town. Like, how do people not know this? First of all, we have pine, the pine lands, we have wooded areas, we have tidal rivers, tidal pools, we have the ocean. Uh, uh, we, we, you know, we have these great locations that are seasonal, like for down at the beaches, for instance, that are very busy in the summer, if you need that kind of shot, but then come the weekend after Labor Day, they're, it's a ghost town, right? But, but everything's still there. I, I think it's very versatile, this state, and I think, I think it's a jewel that hasn't been uncovered yet. Atlantic City is is an island. You know, we are compact, so you may see a little more nitty and gritty than normal, but in my opinion, I don't think so. And I think a lot of the filmmakers that came in, um, actually Bruised was really surprised at, um, you know, what Atlantic City looked like. And it's not your grandmom's Atlantic City anymore. Our casinos are constantly updating and revamping, you know, their, the product that they have so that it's not boring. You know, we have nine casinos. No other destination other than Vegas on the desert really has that. So we have such a diversity as it is that if you want nitty gritty or if you want camera and sparkly and glittery and white sandy beaches, we had someone come in that depicted us as Miami. So, hey, we will be anything you need us to be. What I found is it's so much easier to get in front of the decision makers. People are very accommodating. They want to see the economic development incentives that they've put in place be applied and actually utilized. So when you come to them with a small business request to close down a street or just land a team of anybody that's going to be putting stock into the area, they're very excited to deliver for you. If there's something that can be shown of South Jersey, it's that anything's possible here. New Jersey looks a lot like the USA. In, in all different parts of it. So you take all that and you add the incentive with a local cast and a crew, what's not to like? To invest in the infrastructure here, not only do we get the spillover from New York, which is a big destination, but I think once you get a, a bunch of movies that have come here, and especially from studios, um, and they realize the ease and how quickly you can get the tax credit back and the crew base, the little things that, that go into a decision to shoot in a state, I think the business here will explode. As all of the pieces work together, you've got the commission, you've got Choose New Jersey, you've got the Business Action Center, you've got Economic Development Authority. Everyone is all working towards the same goal, which is to make sure that New Jersey is open for business and available to whomever wants to come in and, and shoot. The facility that we have going at 21 Caven Point and the sister facility, which we will be starting construction on, on 41 Burma, each of those projects are approximately 45 to $50 million. You have to understand that the cost of the HVAC equipment, the soundproofing, these are state-of-the-art studios that we are putting up. You don't have to bring an actor in. The, the cast that's available here is well, world-renowned. And, and the same with the crews. The crews have been making movies since the beginning of filmmaking. So we have the thousands of people available who you don't have to fly a DP in, you don't have to fly a camera operator, you don't have to bring anybody in completely staffed here and you still get the incentive, that's the difference. There was a dearth of sound stages, nowhere to shoot in Jersey, and Jersey has everything that uh, New York has. It has the architecture, it has the infrastructure, it has everything, but there was nowhere for productions to uh, shoot. So it took a while, a lot of planning, and we're there. So we've got 23,000 feet under the uh, pipe grid, 27 feet to the pipe grid. It's fully sound mitigated. You know, it's important to find states that have crew bases because there are a lot of states um, and countries around the world that have great tax rebates, but they have no crews. Or if they have a crew, they have maybe one A crew and then their B and C crews like are awful. I learned that the hard way. 
New Jersey because of its proximity to both New York and Philly. Um, and because a lot of crew members that work in New York and Philly actually live in Jersey, that there's a pretty um, a, a well-established uh, crew base for a state that has such a new tax credit. When the tax credits came, when the governor rolled those out and then we said we want to do a film studio here, I said this would be a perfect thing to rehab this building and put it back into its natural state. And that's why we left all the walls open and left it what it looked like. A 200,000 square foot, four stage movie studio we're getting ready to start to do. And there'll be four separate buildings that'll be added on. As the demand comes, we'll keep increasing. We need the people that work in this industry to know that they can be here and based here, that work will come here. At a given point, New Jersey's workforce, its rich locations, uh, its ease of coming to, whether it's by plane, by train, by highway, will we'll stand on its own because we have so much to offer. But that infrastructure piece has been missing and that's going to be rectified. In 2019, in cooperation with NBC Universal, we sponsored a production assistant boot camp, which is a real world intensive work based training program. What we were able to do was to tantalize the studios with an extra 2% of an incentive was to say, what if we sponsor a PA training program or diversity hires in each of the townships of where we're filming, do a PA boot camp, and so then our influx, our, our financial influx into the economy there isn't just, okay, for this little window of time where we're filming, we're actually cultivating new, new and future filmmakers. They need what New Jersey has, which is cooperation. And through the Film Commission, there is this enormous lack of bureaucracy and red tape when these companies come to New Jersey. We make it easy for them. We have the greatest staff in the world. When people can't get things done in other states or run into interference, they tend to come to New Jersey. And better yet, once they film in New Jersey, they tend to come back and that is the earmark of a great, great program. When production companies are interested in New Jersey, they know that they can get the full red carpet rolled out for them. As is perfectly obvious, New Jersey has everything. The best of many worlds waiting for you to come along and take advantage of all New Jersey has to offer. We're all set to make your production experience the best it can be, so take it from me. When you're deciding where to bring your next production, choose New Jersey.